Lillian Mariga, employed by NFU as African consultant in the South and Eastern region. The Minister of Education was interested in starting an inclusive education program and NFU sought funds to support the Zanzibar Association in starting a pilot project in 2004. I was charged with putting a strategy in place for implementing inclusive education in 20 schools. The minister appointed Mpaji Ali as a head of inclusive education unit. I trained as a teacher of children with intellectual disabilities, but I am also a parent of a young man with Down syndrome and a member of ZAPDD. My job was to implement inclusive education and find out how best to make it happen even though we had limited resources. Our schools have large numbers of students with sometimes 60 and more children per class. We decided on a participatory approach and consulted with parents, government departments, and other NGOs who were supportive of the idea. Our starting point was to undertake a feasibility study of 100 schools selected from 300 in both islands of Zanzibar. The aim were First, to create awareness among schools and establish attitudes to inclusive education. Second, to determine the resources that were available to them, such as materials and finance. Third, to see if the environment of the schools were accessible. A questionnaire was prepared and 20 teachers were trained to interview head teachers, teachers, students, parents and community leaders and members. The findings were compiled into a report. Over 2,000 children with disabilities were identified in the school areas, but most did not attend school. The attitudes of the majority of uh, people to inclusion were positive. Only some were negative. Parents needed more information on the importance of education. Mm -hmm. uh, the parent says that her child likes to learn, but the only problem she sees is that he is a slow learner. So sometimes he stays at home trying to repair bicycles so as to uh, make ends meet for him. The teacher said that, uh, yes, that is good, but uh, on the other hand, this child needs to go to school. So the mother should not just uh, agree with the child staying at home and repairing bicycles. There were few teachers trained in special needs and no material resources. Some schools had disabled students but lacked skills in teaching them. Teacher-student ratios were very high. Say that they need more training. They have, they have few, only few training for inclusive education. So what they say they need training in order to face in a good condition this program. The Ministry accepted the recommendations from the feasibility study 
and a steering committee was formed with the representatives from education, health, social welfare, women and children, ZAPDD and NGOs. All stakeholders, that is ministry, NGOs, uh, DPOs, uh, are the ones or are the stakeholders who could work together so that to make the education in Zanzibar improve. In the steering group, what we usually do, we meet on a quarterly basis. The programs of inclusive education through going through the reporting as well as approving budgets and plan for the next quarter. In the steering committee also some of the members visit to see what is, how is the progress and what are the challenges that teachers are experience in implement, implementing inclusive education. Twenty schools were selected for the pilot phase of the project. They included schools with negative as well as positive attitudes, both in rural and urban areas. When inclusive education was introduced and this school was told that it's one among the pilot schools, in fact, um, they didn't receive that information uh, positively because they thought that that will be difficult for them to be able to teach all children, children with different special needs. Also, some schools had resource centers for disabled children and a few had children in mainstream classes, but most did not. I'm here as an assistant head teacher in the, at primary, Mbakumi primary schools and also the head of the unit of intellectual impairment. Our school is a pilot school for inclusive education project and also assist the activities done by the teacher to implement the inclusive education in our schools. We try to put the teacher, the children, those, especially those who are intellectual impairment, in fact they start in, the, in our in the unit. We try to, to modify the behavior and after we have seen that the, teacher, the children can move to the normal classes, we move them to the normal classes and they align there with other children in an inclusive setting. An inclusive education unit was set up in the ministry with four members of staff. With the help of teacher training colleges, manuals were written to guide teachers on assessment, making resources and meeting the needs of learners with visual and hearing impairments. Training courses were provided for seven teachers from each pilot school. Here, they were introduced to sign language and braille with experienced facilitators coming from outside the country. In all, teachers had 15 to 20 days initial training. Awareness courses were also organized for head teachers, subject advisors, and inspectors. On returning to the schools, the teachers then provided local training courses for other teachers. <laughs> The teachers identified the children in their class who they suspected had learning problems. 
The Inclusive Education Unit arranged for an assessment team to come to each pilot school. This included OT, physio, eye specialists, ENT doctors. <laughs> A report was compiled for each child and teachers designed an individual education program according to the needs of each student. This outlined the learning goals and the teaching strategies to assist the student in the classroom. So the teacher after teaching all the children together then the teacher prepares a special lesson to help the student with uh, special needs. Teachers were trained to produce teaching aids using locally available materials. Teachers, they are using local available material to make different colors. For example, they use uh, these uh, leaves from cassava trees to make uh, these green colors and uh, grind to get this color, red colors. Within each pilot school, an inclusive education committee was set up. This included the head teacher, parents of disabled and non-disabled students, community leaders, a non-disabled student and a teacher. The committee's role was to sensitize the community at large on the needs of the school and producing a conducive environment. They are ready to go outside and inform people around our school about what is inclusive education. And they ask them to bring their children to our school to participate with the others which are already here. They advocated on behalf of the school with policymakers and fundraised for the materials and the equipment. <laughs> the parents on the committee encouraged the other parents to send their children to school. This committee plays a great role of sensitizing other people in the community who still hide their disabled children, so they sensitize them, and therefore now there has been an increase of the number of children with disabilities that are brought to, to school. The number has increased, and the awareness has also increased among the uh, members of the community. After two years, the inclusive education program was independently evaluated. Among the achievements noted were improved attitudes to learners with disability, increased enrollments of those children, and improved teacher skill in handling children with diverse needs in the classroom. I think one of the issues which helped the school to change is sensitization because a lot of sensitization meetings were carried out to, to teachers together with community at large. Teachers are the immediate people who can change attitudes of the communities, the attitude 
of the nation. They have risen their attitudes. They have tried. They are now changing. They see that uh, children are of their own and they are of the nations. But also training because they didn't have that skills and knowledge on how to teach children with special needs. But after being trained, they found that, that it is possible. Future challenges identified were improving teacher-student ratio through building of more classrooms with community partners, better monitoring and documentation of children's progress, and mobilizing other partners to provide additional resources. Perhaps the greatest achievement is to inclusive education contained in the recently launched education policy in Zanzibar. In the long run, we, are, we hope to have inclusive education in all the schools so as to ensure that all the children with special needs get their right to education. Funding has been obtained from NORAD to continue the program into a consolidation phase which will assist the government to take over the running of the program and building on the foundation that has been laid. The ministry has plans for further teacher training and the strengthening of the inclusive education unit. This year we, could, we hope to start an inclusive education training program also in our sister, in sister island in Pemba so as to increase the number of teachers who are undergoing inclusive education. In the coming years we will extend inclusive education to more schools throughout Zanzibar. We also have plans to develop teacher training through a diploma course and continuing the program of in-service training. Teachers actually come for regular in-service training because there are new innovations of uh, teaching methodologies and uh, they want also to know how to, to use these child-centered methodologies. And uh, not only that, but uh, they get more skills to develop resources since we have shortage of resources. Yes. F F I I N N G. As of now, we have created a strong foundation on which to build inclusive education. Achievement has been the awareness of the teachers. Earlier on, the teachers were very unwilling to, to teach children with disabilities, but now, after many trainings, after many sensitization workshops, they have realized that it is important and it is, it, 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 you can teach children with disabilities.